welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to talk about the status of Pariah and Supreme Hunter. There is this uneducated guess or theory that Supreme Hunter and Pariah are one and the same. In order to debunk this claim, let's establish what we know so far about the characters. Let's start with Pariah. In the timeline of Prototype, Pariah is the son of Elizabeth Green. He is the single survivor of the Pope Children experiment. In various memory nods, which can be stored and found in the Intrigue web, we find out the fact that Pariah exhibits no trace of the viruses. He also possesses the ability to alter the DNA of his victims as shown with a flock of birds when he had them develop tumors. Now let's talk about Supreme Hunter. In this story, Supreme Hunter is the result of Zeus injecting Elizabeth with the same parasite Zeus had been injected with. Not only did Elizabeth reject the parasite, but she was seemingly able to rewrite its DNA structure to create a deadly creature. This creature adopted traits from both Elizabeth and Zeus. Like Elizabeth, Supreme Hunter had the ability to control red light infected naturally. Its physical appearance was red light based. From Zeus Blacklight, it inherited the ability to absorb in its main melee combat weaponized limbs. With their background stories explained, there is the big piece of evidence which puts to shame the theory that Supreme Hunter is pariah. During the attack of Robert Cross team, we are able to watch Robert battling lots of walkers and brawlers. Near the end of cut scene, we see a brawler or a hunter leader joining the attack. At this point, through the infected's vision during the cut scene, we are able to see that Robert Cross has already been consumed, because every one of them appears in the infected V. Given that Pariah shows no signs of the infection, it stands to reason that Robert or Supreme Hunter in disguise would not show up in Zeus' infected vision. But it did. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.